Hi guys, and welcome back to Sylvia and Corey Bichanga. What is love that the God of the heavens would stoop down to love me with grace? In the midst of my pride and rebellion, his love wouldn't give up the chase. In each breath that I breathe, when I wake or I sleep, Everything I need is found in you, all in you. Everything I need is found in you, found in you, Jesus. Everything I need is found in you, all in you. Everything I need is found in you. Today is a little bit of a different video than what I've been doing recently. Today we're just going to spend the day here at home with me and just kind of show you a day in my life um, since being diagnosed with PCOS. I want to show some of the foods that I'm making and meanwhile we have one here sorry say hi to the people say hi hi guys yeah so it's just gonna be Zuri and I today here at home I'm gonna film a few different things actually um, one thing I'm gonna add to this vlog today is a few different people have been asking me Sylvia how do you do your makeup the way I do my makeup is very laughable to say the least, so I'm going to film some of that, um, how I mix my foundations, and my goal usually with wearing makeup is not to look like I have makeup on, really, but just to kind of, um, you know, cover up some pimples, um, get rid of some darkness under my eyes, and of course I fill in my eyebrows, but I like it to look as natural as possible. Zuri wants to play, so... Let's get into today's vlog. I love you. I give you everything you want me to. Think about it. If I could, I'd burn down the moon and give that to Okay, so let's jump into my skincare, what I do, and how I do my makeup. Um, I don't wear makeup every day. Some days I give my skin a break. Other days I do wear makeup even if I'm just at home. So I start off with the Garnier Pure Active 3-in-1 Charcoal. It's a wash, mask, and a scrub. I use this every morning and every evening. Now that I've just washed my face with that, I have in this setting spray bottle. It's not setting spray. So it looks like this. It's rose water and glycerine and it has helped my pimples a ton. I put it in this spray bottle and just mist it all over my face. I have this little fan. <laughs> I just use it to dry, dry my face. Um, but I also use this for like uh, when I go away from home and I don't have a fan at night because it's rechargeable, it has a stand, and you can even remove it from the stand. And it's actually pretty powerful. This is the first speed. Any hoosies, um, now that my rose water is dried, I like to go in with a moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I use, just collagen something or other. So I just dab on my forehead. And this just helps um, if you use makeup for it to go on better. After the moisturizer, I use this Olo Primer. It just helps also your makeup to go on better. 
Oh, never mind. It's on my dress. So I just put some here in my hand. Primer kind of minimizes your pores and just helps your, um, meanwhile, Zuri is here chewing on the cap. It just minimizes some of the larger pores around here and moisturizes your face. Okay, now that my skin is prepped, I'm gonna show you how I mix my foundation. I have not been able to find the right shade of foundation for my face, and honestly, the mixture I make is still a little bit too yellowish, orangish for me. I don't really like it, and I actually did order some on Amazon that's a lot lighter, and I hope my parents will be bringing that over at the end of June. I use this little cup, so here is where I mix my little brew. So first up, I start with the Superstay 24-hour foundation from Maybelline. I just put a few pumps of that. I think it's almost coming to its journey's end, but hopefully by the end of next month, I'll have something else. Plus, I don't use that much foundation. This little container lasts me probably a good month. And then, Next, I add the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, uh, I don't know, it doesn't say foundation, but it's um, number 220, Natural Beige. That was the lightest shade they had at the store that was close to me. So it's also almost over. Yes, yeah, so now I put a few drops of that in there. You can see there's two different colors. And then I add some Pro Concealer. <laughs> Okay, now we've added in our concealer. So now you have three different colors going on. And then to just ensure that it's as light as it can be, <coughs> I have this skin brightening cream. Um, it has like vitamin E, collagen, and all that good stuff in it. Um, I just add it right into my foundation because it's white. So now here you can see I added that brightening cream to it. It's white. It kind of ties all of these colors together and just makes them work. And then last but not least, I mix it with a bobby pin. There's companies I could buy from online. I just haven't put any effort into it because honestly makeup is not a big part of my life. Um, or a big thing in my life, really. Now we have it all mixed up. We shall not let a nary bit go to waste. So here we go. This is just the most professional thing you've probably seen in all your days. So don't feel intimidated at all, okay? So now that I have my foundation ready, I take this brush that I do not wash um, except for maybe once a month. So that's very hygienic. Really, Zuri? Okay, now I have my wet sponge and now I'm just gonna start blending that out. Okay, now that I have my foundation on and it's all blended out, I'm going to put on some setting spray just to set that in place. So I'm just using this LA Girl setting spray. I'm going to go in with a little bit of blush. It's a nice color, so I just take this brush and go into here and then keep. I like to keep my blush up really high just because if you put it on too low, it kind of drags your face down. To me, blush is the favorite part of makeup and I put way too much on and I don't even care. I don't know what I'm doing by the way. I'm just showing you what I do. If I want a brow that's not very um, prominent and looks more natural, they're Maybelline's New York's Tattoo Studio in the shade 365 Deep Brown. So sometimes I use them just as a quick one. But for today's brow, I'm just gonna use this brown eyeliner or eyebrow filler or whatever and then use this brush. So here I have my pencil and I'm gonna look here in this mirror to do this. Okay, then I take this brush and because I don't like like a really harsh beginning, I don't like when it's like box. 
So I just like to diffuse it a tad, especially in the inner corner. Um, just to make so it's not such a harsh, harsh line of where the brow starts. You see how that just softened that out a little bit compared to this very boxy brow. Um, so yeah, just something like that. Yeah. And then sometimes I just go in and clean it up a little bit with my leftover foundation on my brush. Right now what I'll just do is put like a, a little lip gloss on. I don't know which shade it's in, but it's a very neutral color. It just gives them a little something something. On rare occasion I'll put color on my lips, but generally I just like something very natural like this. That is all I do. Sometimes if it's a special occasion, yes, I'll do more of a different color lip or I'll add like mascara, but when I'm just at home, I don't like to have mascara on my eyes. So I just do foundation, blush, my brows, and a little bit of lip gloss. And that is literally all. Let's go make some breakfast and I'll show you guys what I eat since being diagnosed with PCOS. So for my breakfast, I'm going to have um, some of the, what they call Uji here. Um, it's like a porridge and it gets ground at like the local mill. It's millet flour and a few other grains that I don't know the names of that they grind together. I just store it here in my husband's empty um, whey blend container. Let me show you how the flour looks. So this is how the flour looks all ground up. So I have some boiling water here. So now that my water is boiling, I'm just going to add some of this powder in here and stir it. And while we wait for that to boil, I'm going to show you guys um, what kind of pills I usually take in the morning. So what I'm adding here to my water is the Plexus Slim Microbiome Activating. It's just a great probiotic drink. So after mixing up my pink drink, I take a half pill of my seizure meds. They are called uh, Lamitar. And then I take one fish oil pill and I like to actually add the mineral essence into my pink drink. I'm gonna do that right now. Just take about a half dropper, so I put two of those into my pink drink. The only other thing I do is I have a mixture here, my own <laughs> blend, trying to fight inflammation. I blended together turmeric and ginger and orange, and I left all the, I peeled off some of the outside layers, but I didn't strain it or anything, so it's like a pulp and it's really bitter. But I have these containers in the fridge and I take like just a regular big spoonful every morning before I drink my pink drink. So yeah, that's it. All right, now that I have the sugar in, I am going to, I just buy my citric acid at the market and they just serve it in like plastic bags. So I put it in this container. So I like my Uji to have a nice sour taste to it. Okay, so for my lunch, I'm just sauteing these onions and then I have these beans and maize that I pre-boiled and put in the freezer. So I'm going to add those to the onions and then just add this uh, Giveri Masala Spice.
it is now about six o'clock and I just got done doing some video editing for a video that I'm hopefully posting this evening yet. Um, but I have my roller, yoga mat, and Zuri is all excited. She's bringing her toys. Um, she knows when I get this out, it means we're going to go play up on the roof. So Zuri, do you want to go and play? Do you want to go and play? You want to go and play? <laughs> So let's go up on the roof and get some exercise. Don't be discouraged anymore. You find the thing you've been looking for. You pick up the pieces of the floor. Just trust, trust it'll be all right. Your heart is lonely, but it's strong. You might... So guys, it is now in the evening, as you can see. And um, before I get into making supper, I have this leftover yogurt here. Um, it's just from the supermarket. I just put it in this container. But I need to use it, so I'm using it um, through baking. <clears throat> So like two or three days ago, I baked this cake. It's like a strawberry cake with just some chocolate over the top. Um, I'm not eating a lot of it, but Corey is taking it in the morning with tea. And yesterday I also baked banana bread um, with some chocolate chips because I had ripe bananas. So any hoosies, all that to say, um, I need to bake another cake tonight because I need this yogurt to be in a cake. So let's make the cake and then let's get into what I'm going to be making for supper. Like a sunrise horizon, always there, always shining, building me up with the song it's singing, filling my heart like I'm flying, always warm, always hold me, the biggest part of my story, healing my soul, help me feel my glory it keeps pulling me back it keeps pulling me back to you it keeps pulling me back yeah it keeps pulling me back to you it keeps pulling me back yeah it keeps pulling me back to you all right it's as easy as that here is the cake i think i'm gonna put it at 350 for probably about 20 minutes. from work and what are you doing honey? I'm here with Zuri. <laughs> uh, she's getting her bath. Uh -huh. As you can see, hey Zuzu. <laughs> so right now she's uh, 
she knows each time she knows uh, it's time for her to bath she always runs away no Zuri but she's actually quite calm compared to some dogs I've seen getting baths yeah she does really well and she's uh, I think she's enjoying she, she she's just trying to be a good uh, like a bad girl <laughs> but she's a good girl she enjoys her bath Ah, Zuzu. <laughs> Thanks for doing that, honey. You're welcome. Zuzu. You'll be done soon, Zuri. You want to say hi? Ah. <laughs> 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 Zuri, what's not happening? And I can feel her heartbeat. Wait, it's beating very fast. Zuri, Don't worry. You'll be done soon, baby yeah. girl. Oh, she's shaking. I need to pour some hot water. Oh. Yeah. Let me close the door. All right. Someone is done with her bath. So, Ria, how Wait are you feeling? <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah. <laughs> no, you pour me pouring. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something else. This what are, you, what are you searching for? So these are the after bath shenanigans. <laughs> she went back inside. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she, she might even end up staying there for for some time. Sometimes she'll fall asleep. So guys, uh, whenever I just cover her, it's not like she's going to suffocate now. In fact, she enjoys it. She enjoys it so much. Do you see? Oh, she went inside again. Yeah. Oh, she's a cute puppy. We love her. So now that we have the stir fry simmering over here, I'm going to make the liquid that goes on top of the stir fry. So here I have a cup of water, then I'm just gonna add some white vinegar, and then I'm gonna add chicken Reiko cube. Now we're gonna add soy sauce, and we're gonna add some honey. I'm gonna add um, one spoonful of corn flour, just to thicken it. And now we're just going to stir that up so it's all blended together. Now we're just going to pour this mixture right over the top. All right, and then you just let the liquid you poured in come to a boil. And then as you can see, it's thickening and you just wait till it gets pretty thick and your vegetables are all cooked and then it's ready to serve over rice. You can add more salt or whichever seasonings you would like. Refreshing, both of us, <laughs> and uh, just coming to a supper like this. Actually, this is one of my favorite uh, meal, and I just love my wife's cooking. It's just something else, you know. Thank you, babe. Mm. So yeah, I'm Zuri. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy. Alright, Well guys, I think that wraps up my vlog for today. Getting ready to eat my supper back here and I hope you guys enjoyed 
coming along with me on my day for today and yeah i hope you learned something new and i will see you guys on my next youtube video peace out peace out one thing's true never ask for